We're good. We're good. Ah! Hello, you duct tape ponies out there. I'm the bluish pony. And sorry if I seem too enthusiastic. And today's reaction, we're going to be reacting to Friendship is Tragic, Episode 2. Now, we're going to do this reaction right, because last reaction, I was not supposed to show the chat replay. Or the donations. Whoops. But anyways, let's just get this thing started. I don't want to talk any longer. Let's start in three, three, in three, two, one. scary that one oh. previously on friendship is tragic oh, for fuck's sake, after I the saving voice my again. brother and cadence at their wedding in Canterlot, princess celestia invited me to come along on a diplomatic mission to a faraway country called diomedes so she could teach me skills of diplomacy which i might need someday in whatever job she had planned for me after my friendship studies conclude i <laughs> had never heard of the place Except for a brief reference to them in a book about a war between many countries 800 years ago. But Princess Celestia told me there was a troubled past between Equestria and Diomedes, one she was hoping to reconcile on this trip. However, in the middle of the night on our first night on the road, we were ambushed by Queen Xanthos, one of the sister queens of Diomedes, and I learned the whole horrible truth. The horses of Diomedes eat meat and had designs on Equestria becoming their new hunting ground. They had constructed a terrible plan to magically cut off Princess Celestia's connection with the sun while the moon was high in the sky. That and bitch! in that time to murder her. Princess Celestia tried to teleport me away to safety but I did not want to leave her and fought her spell with terrible results for me. After the battle, you brought that I woke upon up yourself. In the to find four years had passed, Princess Celestia was dead. And while I was in my coma, my whole world had changed. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Scribbler Productions. I, I can't help it, okay? Hush, A grimdark MLP audio drama. Friendship is... <laughs> Friendship is tragic. That probably... This is... That voice ruins the whole entire... Thing. I'm sorry, I need to stop doing that. Twilight, voiced by the lovely Scribbler. Rarity, voiced by the also lovely Magpie Pony. Applejack, voiced by also the lovely The Lost Narrator. <sighs> Celestial voice by Luna Lockwood. It's also very lovely. Like the foreshadowing from that first episode. Luna voice by Chipper. Oh! Okay, it's better. a new pinky model. Good job, Sketch. You can tell it's Sketch. Dark, the oceans and dark, the sky. Hush, the whales and the ocean tide. Tell the soldiers and
I bust the balls to do high notes? Okay. <sighs> A few there, Twilight. Twilight? Hmm? Oh. Hello, Princess Luna. You seem distracted. Oh. That dress, though! Oh, nice! There is no need to apologize. I sensed your sleeping mind leave the dream realm <laughs> quite abruptly. The nightmares are getting worse, aren't they? I... I don't want to talk about it. You never do. Princess Luna. I will not force you, Twilight. You are my friend, and have been a great help to me after my sister's passing. But I know that her death and those of your family trouble you still, both in your waking and in your dreaming hours. Oh shit, her family died? Yes. Your dreams smell strongly of guilt. You still think there was something you could have done? Maybe. I don't know anymore. All the reports. I've been over them so many times. Maybe there really was nothing I could have done. Or maybe there was something I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have insisted on helping Princess Celestia lay the wards around our encampment. Maybe if I hadn't done that... They would have been strong enough to resist the magic Xanthos used to dispel them. I shouldn't have resisted Princess Celestia when she tried to send me away. If she hadn't been distracted by me, then maybe... Maybe... My sister loved Equestria like a child. She would have done anything to keep it safe. Including staving off war with another country by sacrificing herself. But she also loved you like a child, Twilight Sparkle. She wanted you to live. And it strikes me that you have not lived very much since your awakening. Merely existed. Princess Luna, please don't say that. Why should I not speak the truth? Because it hurts too much to hear it. It occurs to me that a lot of things have hurt too much for you to confront. What's that supposed to mean? You remain with me in Canterlot, helping me to rule with the gentleness I lacked a thousand years ago. But you stay in your tower, seeing no pony and allowing no pony to see you. Even your relatives have stopped trying after you made it clear you wish to never see them again. By my reckoning, it has been, what, six years since you last set foot in Ponyville? Four of those, I was in a coma. This is true. And yet, for two years you have not been. Do not misunderstand me, Twilight. I have appreciated your aid in helping okay, Equestria so to recover. She was in a coma for six years. With the remaining sister queens Four years, and then another two years. Okay, got it. They killed so many. Well, I was just lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I was so useless. I couldn't save Celestia, even though I tried, Don't but... you dare say that! But I never even got a chance to help my... My parents, or my... My big brother. I'm glad you killed them all, Luna. Oh, all the Jesus, sister queens and all the horses of Diomedes. I know a lot of ponies think you went too far, but... But I'm glad you did. Indeed, they do think that. And while your words so provide a salve to my conscience, dear Twilight, I must admit that sometimes I wonder whether those ponies are right. Things are not as they were a thousand years ago. Wiping one's enemies off the map with magic 
is no longer considered an appropriate way to end a conflict. Cadence will come around someday. I think she was just shocked that you didn't seem as affected by what you did as she expected. Diomedes declared war on Equestria. The head of their family murdered my beloved sister. And the rest of their leaders butchered every pony in our border towns. And the guards sent to defend them before they were stopped. I think the deaths I gave those horses were quick enough considering their crimes. As for Cadence, perhaps I simply do not see what my sister saw in her when she made her an alicorn. We had barely met before Celestia died. Perhaps my beloved sister would have been able to explain to me why she chose such a soft-hearted mare to be a princess alongside us. As it is, I think Cadence is better off in the Crystal Empire for the time being. It was your destiny! She's doing well for herself there, I hear. Sorry. And you do not wish to see her for yourself? No. No, she's better off without me. What? I... I told her the last time she came here that I never wanted to see her again. I don't even know if I meant it. I just couldn't stand the pity in her eyes when she looked at my horn. She knows how much magic meant to me. She knows how hard I worked to get into Celestia's school for gifted unicorns. And now... Now I can't even so much as levitate anything. Cadence defeated King Sombra all on her own. She's so powerful. I... I was the element of magic. And now? Now I'm the elements of... Nothing. <laughs> Worthlessness, maybe. Shame. Oh, don't... Weakness. Don't hurt my heart like this. I... I hate what I am now. I wanted to make sure she stayed away from me. I'm... I'm too broken to... to see ponies who... who used to mean so much to me. For them to see... to see how stupid and, and frail and... and and useless I am now. I disagree. Your nightmares are a message, Twilight Sparkle. And before you ask, no, not from me. They are your own heart whispering to you that you have things you must address. Things you must do. Ponies, you should see. I... I can't... I can't face Cadence again, Princess. I remind her too much of Shining Armor. And of how he... Of how he died. I am not referring to Cadence. No, no, I can't see them. Why not? Because... Because Princess Celestia died when I was supposed to be protecting her. I failed. Twilight, you know that is not true. You cannot shoulder the blame of my sister's death any more than I can. Yeah, don't blame yourself and trust just me, because you could... I have no, tried. No, oh you dissuaded me of that. Or had you forgotten? No. I remember. And do you think your friends would hold what happened against you? I... I don't know. Truly? No. No, they wouldn't. Go to Ponyville, Twilight Sparkle. Speak with your friends. Reconnect. Former friends. That remains to be seen. I don't even know if they still live in Ponyville. Six years is a long time. I didn't... I haven't wanted to see any of them since I came out of my coma, so I didn't... Then if they are not there, we shall locate them. I shall help you in this endeavor as you have helped me in mine. Please.
Please, princess. That is not a request. It is an order from your princess, Twilight Sparkle. <sighs> oh. I... Uh, I... Twilight? I... 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 Good. I shall make the arrangements now. No. No, I'll do it. Very well, then. I do like Luna's dress, though. <laughs> oh, Princess Celestia. Why couldn't I have given my life to save yours? Instead, you... I miss you so much. I miss sending you letters, having tea with you, seeing you smile when I learned a friendship lesson. I miss talking with you, learning from you, just... just being with you. It's not fair that you're gone and I'm still here. <laughs> no. Luna's right. She wouldn't want you to feel like this, Twilight. Remember what she taught you. Stay strong. For her. Remember what she taught you about friendship. And stay strong. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Oh, goodness. Oh, don't do this. Hearing this music, oh no, I think I know where this is going. Oh, I'm like tired all of a sudden. Hi, Spike. I. I came to tell you that I'm going away for a while. Not too long, I hope. Princess Luna is tracking down our friends, and I'm going to go and visit them. But I couldn't leave without coming to say goodbye. I know you can't hear me, but it didn't feel right seeing them without you. I'll tell Rarity you said hi. If she agrees to see me, that is. I miss you, Spike. Couldn't you have waited for me a little longer? I was bound to wake up sooner or later. But this... You won't wake up for at least a hundred years. Oh. How could you just leave me like this? Didn't you think what would happen if I woke up to find you gone? That you chose being a dragon and having a horde over staying with me? Princess Celestia died, Spike! Shining Armor died! My mom and my dad died! Oh, and you're as good as dead because by the time you wake up, I'll be either too old to remember you or... or... <laughs> Scribbler, don't do this to me, damn it! I'm sorry, Spike. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Princess Luna did what she thought was right, giving you this cave and these treasures under Canterlot. I can't be angry at her for trying to help you feel better. She doesn't think of time the way that mortal ponies do. I meant to come back safely. Honest, I did. I meant to have a party with you guys and have hay burgers and everything. Just like I pinky promised. I just... I just... I'm sorry.
sorry. I'll, I'll see you later. My number one assistant. Has anybody ever once told me? Family don't end with blood, boy. Oh, come on! <laughs> Ugh, I look a mess. I wonder what rarity would make of this. <laughs> Rarity's probably a top designer now. And Fluttershy, she probably runs a clinic or a shelter for sick animals. Applejack's bound to have stayed on her family farm. Every pony always feels better after eating Sweet Apple Acres produce. Probably because of all the love they pour into their land. The Wonder Bolt's disbanded. But I wouldn't put it past Rainbow to have formed her own, even more spectacular group. And Pinkie? Well, she's definitely still being Pinkie Pie. She'd never leave Ponyville. She's too important to the ponies there, and them to her. She's what keeps them smiling, after all. And every pony needs smiles. More than ever, these days. <gasps> Do you not knock Stop before me. entering the Philly's room? <laughs> the door won't open, Miss Barker. Well, I guess I should lock the door in. Oh, my God. Anyway, to what do I owe this intrusive visit? This is for you. Hmm? This has the seal of the royal scribe on it. Dear Miss Twilight Sparkle, I am happy to report that after an extensive search, the whereabouts of... All but one of the ponies you listed have been discovered. As requested, we have delivered to each your pre-written invitation to meet with you. Uh, however, it must be noted that each had reservations at your plan for them to travel to Canterlot to see you in your personal quarters there. It was suggested by the one named Applejack that a neutral meeting place would be of benefit to all for personal reasons. This information was passed along okay. to allow the recipients of the four Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash have all agreed to meet with you at the destination I have enclosed on a separate sheet to this letter, inclusive of travel directions. Oh, the pony known as Fluttershy was unable to confirm. And we regret to inform you that, as of yet, Pink Amina Diane Pie's whereabouts remain unknown. We hope the information provided is sufficient. We will continue to try to locate Miss Pie in the interim. You're sincerely Raven Inkwell. They... They found them? I don't believe it. <laughs> my friends! My friends! You will keep looking for Pinky, right? Please tell me you will! I promise them. We will, Miss Burgle! Thank you so much for delivering this to me. I'm sorry for shouting at you, Scout. Uh, um. Bow Derpy Hooves to the Royal Night Guard. Oh, this is like... Thank you, Scout <laughs> Derpy Hooves. You've made my morning so much brighter than I expected. Hmm. A tavern? The Fabulous Serpent. Oh, well. I guess they have their reasons for wanting to meet there. I'm just so happy to see them again. Oh, my friends. Luna was right. I do need to see you all again. I, I have been lying to myself. I have missed you. Now I'll get to see you again after so long. Oh, I can't wait. To be continued.
really had to pull my heartstrings, Scribbler. God damn you, woman. Best friendship is tragic, everyone. You really had to touch my heart like that, boss. Really? Men and direct the boss, Scribbler. I'm feeling cold now. She trained the voices of Twilight Sparkle, Scribbler, Princess Luna, Chip. <laughs> Sorry. Luna God Derpy Who's. Sir Widwin? Sir Widwin. Princess Celestia. Luna Lockwood. Art generously created by Flatty Voices. Tuba Chick. Tumiku. Kevin Pro. Kevin Poro, sorry. Apple Jack of all trades. Safina the Eleven. Mixed of Ponies. Cybris. Miss Color Splash. Black Sue Rose. Sketch Draw More. Rock up the three. <laughs> Cloud Nine. The Crystal Rig. Radiant Glow. Amaro Dirty Dirty. Box Oh my god! Who created the fun now? <laughs> No, oh, but yeah, I knew it was very bloody Oh my god! Oh my god! Kurt does not get it together, man! Oh my god! Kurt design concepts by JB Hawthorne, Shaw, Violet LeCamnet, Vika, Ali Pack, PCR Bank 20. <laughs> Session man, Skyline Pony, Purple Black Kiwi, Willow Lee, Violet Galaxy Shimmer. This tragic logo designed by Hammer Lion. Yep. Urban <laughs> 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 sounds by Caroline. Next time, episode three. Summer Hurricanes. Thanks for the tear jerking scenes, boss. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm at a loss for four now.
There's a person once said, Family don't end with blood. Family is always there for you. For the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. They're always there. Always behind your back. Even if it hurts. That's what I call family. I never realize how much I love my family, even if I do hate them sometimes. <laughs> but they're my family. And I need to show respect to them. You always have to spend with your family all the time and make great memories. And they cherish you, they love you, and they're part of your lives. And if you don't even show them love, it's... It's terrible. Oh my god. I need a break. I need a break. I'll see you in the next episode. Of Friendship is Dead. I'm gonna need to rethink things. See ya.